Hello friends, hope you're doing well. This is my new video tutorial on table view. So as you can see on my screen, there's a table view and which is filled with the data. So we will do uh, some coloring on alternate rows as uh, you can see right now on the screen. So uh, I will demonstrate you how can you achieve the similar thing with the help of CSS because to do that we have to apply the CSS on the table view so we are choosing the event rows and odd rows to applying the colors I mean to say I am applying the color on the background of the cell so how we will do that let's get started so here is in the NetBeans IDE this is a simple project I have created which is fxml based as usual I have a source package and this source package has this uh, table view example package and we have uh, these three default files which has been created by the ID once you create the project so first one is fxml that for the GUI components and uh, the second one is a controller which going to handle all the action all the events uh, created by the uh, GUI components and this is the person class this is simply like a POJO class for uh, representing the data inside the table view so you can get all these information as well on my previous video so I have given the links in the description box so you can uh, follow that links and watch the videos and come back here so you will get the good understanding on the table view how to fill the data inside table view now I will run this example and I will show you how much we have done so far okay do a clean build go to the run file and launch the application so here is the the table view with the filled data inside it we have three columns first name last name and email so uh, we will start from this place I will show you how to fill the alternate rows with the col different colors so follow the steps okay now close it so first I will open the fxml I will show you with the help of Java FX scene builder 2.0 Here is the scene builder and now we have to open this fxml inside this scene builder just right click go to the properties and now here at this place all files click on all files and just copy this whole path and come here go to the file menu and choose the open option and now paste the full path okay we got it we uh, we have opened the fxml and now you can see that we have only a one label and the table view placed inside the anchor pane so we have these components only and uh, there is no column inside the table view we have added all columns with the help of the code so that part uh, is done inside the fxml controller.java okay now I will show you how to add the CSS and how to apply the CSS on that 
okay now here the fxml document controller as you all know uh, this is the table view the fx id that is assigned to the uh, table view inside the fxml and by using this reference after that i have created the table columns and then using that reference id uh, applying dot get columns dot add all and adding all those three columns inside the table view and this is the code where we are initializing the row data that means with the help of person class this is observable list that representing the data okay now this is the next step where we have connected the columns with the data so if you want if you are not clear so just uh, follow the bottom link and uh, just watch that video so you will get the understand it's really easy so this was the fxml document controller dot java now the major step we have to create go to the source package and we have to create uh, one more package and inside that we have to create a css file okay once you create this css folder now just right click on that and you will choose like cascading style sheet option if you are not getting this at this place now come back here now just down here choose the other option and uh, this window will open and in the filter search box just type cascade okay now you get the exact search string and okay now this will ask you to give a good name for your css file so now you can see here this is the folder is src slash css we are inside the css folder okay i have already created here this is my css file okay now come here on the table view example which has a start method so you have to type this line now look at line number 24 use the scene object dot get style sheet dot add and give the name of the style sheet with the parent folder so our css inside the css folder that's why i have uh, given the name uh, like forward slash css forward slash my css dot css so this line is using for applying the css on the scene then whatever you will write inside this cascading style sheet will be applicable on the gui components okay this is the line number 25 Okay, once you're done, now we will move on CSS file. Now here is the CSS file. So there is only one component right now. So uh, here dot root representing the stage background. The very first window you will see when you, once you run this application. So the stage background will be set to the given color. So at line number twelve, you can see FX background color property, and we have give, given the color code, which is green. So you can choose uh, whatever you like. And for the further to set the rose color, we have to write uh, more inside the CSS. So I have written here. let me copy and paste here and i will explain you each step okay the major thing is we are applying the style sheet on even and odd rows okay so from line number 23 dot table hyphen row hyphen cell colon odd so this css will be apply only the odd rows okay So here, line number twenty-five has a major role that FX background color is set to the given color. So you can choose red, green, blue, white, whatever, which looks much suitable in your case. So you can choose that one. Line number twenty-six is not a much significance, so I'm re removing it. So the CSS applied on the odd rows. Now, also I will apply the CSS on the even rows. so write the same same code here and just replace colon even and this is the fx background color which is uh, the some hexadecimal color code and remove this 
not much use so the major properties that we have to write inside the css is it is for changing the background of your stage there's not much significance and from the line number 23 up to line number 33 that has the major thing for changing the background color of the odd rows you have to use this table rows cell colon odd and for changing the background color for the even rows then you have to place colon even just these two things required to change the color of your table rows now go to the run menu and choose the clean build option okay we got the build successful now here and uh, okay go to this uh, table view example which has a start method and do a right click and choose this option run file or you can press you can press shift plus f6 now you can see that the stage it's looking very nice and uh, let me open the css in the parallel of this stage now you can see that this is the background which is set to the blue color so this was the hexadecimal color code of the blue color this is light blue color and uh, the line number 23 to 27 you can see that this is the odd odd color code 1357 which is applied successfully on the rows and for the even table rows we have applied the css so this is even rows 2 4 6 and so on so it is a little bit green so for the example purpose i have taken these two colors but in your case you can choose much more relevant and uh, eye catching color good look and feel in your table view rows so this was the good example and uh, it's easy you can try it your own that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video So please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates. Thanks for watching.